What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am giving you my WWE Extreme Rules 2022 predictions video. The show is taking place this Saturday the 8th of October. I will not be watching it live, however I will be watching it early the next morning and trying to make my reactions videos for you guys if anything crazy happens on the show. Expect to see it on Sunday morning. Without further ado ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the first match of Extreme Rules. The first match on the Extreme Rules card is a good old-fashioned Donnybrook match. Now, I don't actually know what this is. I'm assuming it's a six-man tag, but it is taking place between the Brawling Brutes and Imperium. I don't know who is going to come out on the better end of this one, but I'm going to go with Imperium because they have just really got back together properly, and I, I think they could use a good win, and, you know... I don't know where this is going. I hope we get another Sheamus and Gunther match later down the road. But for now, if it is a six-man tag, I'm going with Imperium to win. Coming up next, we have a match which is probably going to be in the main event. But considering it's not for a championship, I'm going to put it here. Edge versus Finn Balor in an I quit match. This should be good. Now, I thought WWE were actually writing Edge off TV the other week when they did the whole, you know, coup de gras onto the knee from the chair, whatever it was. Uh, so I know Edge has been around a little while now. It's probably coming up to the time where he disappears again until sort of Survivor Series or the Royal Rumble. Uh, so I'm going with Finn Balor to win this. Uh, he's going to make Edge say I quit. Going to put Finn over huge and uh, probably going to do something drastic to write Edge off TV for a little while. Finn Balor, you're going over. Next up, we have a strap match between Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross. This is going to be brutal, but I'm going with Drew McIntyre to win. As, as difficult as this one is, you know, Cross has only just come back and you want to start him off on a high. Drew really needs to bounce back from that loss to Roman, so I'm going with Drew McIntyre to pick up the W here. But really, I think this one could go either way. Next up on the card is the match that I am probably looking forward to the most. It is a fight pit with special guest referee Daniel Cormier, former UFC heavyweight champion, Matt Riddle versus Seth freaking Rollins. This is going to be good. Has Riddle won in the fight pit? I don't think he has thus far. So I'm going with Matt Riddle to pick up the W over Seth Rollins, probably via submission in the fight pit. Next up, we have one of two championship matches on the card. Both matches are for women's titles. First up being Bianca Belair defending the Raw Women's Championship against Bayley in a ladder match. Now, I am personally going with Bayley to win here. Uh, I know Dakota Kai and Io Sky have just won the Women's Tag Team Championships. I would put the belt on Bayley. That way, they have all the women's gold on Raw. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. And you know, you can protect Bianca Belair in defeat here. Because it being a ladder match, she doesn't have to get pinned. She doesn't have to submit. You know, take her out. Or have all three women gang up and beat her up. And then just have Bailey climb up the ladder and retrieve the championship. So I am predicting Bailey to become the new Raw Women's Champ. And finally, this match probably isn't going to be the main event on the actual card. But considering it's the only championship Extreme Rules match, scratch that. The only Extreme Rules match on the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. The rest of the matches are different stipulations. It is the SmackDown Women's Championship. Liv Morgan defending against Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I am going with Rowdy Ronda Rousey to win here. There's no way in an Extreme Rules match that Liv Morgan's going to beat her. I mean... I, come on. This run for Liv, I'm just not into it. I'm really not. And I think it's a typical case of the baby face is better in the chase. Uh, so I would have Ronda absolutely brutalise Liv Morgan here. Maybe write her off TV for a little while. And then you can have Liv Morgan come back and maybe even win the Women's Royal Rumble or something. Uh, but that chase for the championship is always better for the baby face. Uh, other than the actual championship run, or normally anyway. So, considering Liv can barely beat Ronda anyway, when Ronda gets to use weapons, I'm going with Ronda Rousey to win. But there you go, guys. That was my WWE Extreme Rules 2022 predictions video. This video is being filmed after the go-home Raw, but before the go-home SmackDown, as always. So, if there's any matches or anything that's added to the card that should be in this video, you will find it in the description and in the comments down below alongside my prediction for said thing. 
There's other things that could happen on the show. Are we going to see an appearance of the White Rabbit? Is it going to be Bray Wyatt? Are we going to find out who it is? I don't know. I haven't really been following the show quite closely for the last, I'd say, two or three weeks. I've just been really busy. My life's been really hectic these last couple of weeks. So uh, I haven't been watching as closely. So I'm not necessarily clued up on all of the clues for the White Rabbit. I think it's probably going to be Bray Wyatt. But will we show up at Extreme Rules? We're just going to have to wait and see. But there you go, guys. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you, hopefully, for some Extreme Rules reactions if something happens on the show that's worth me reacting to. But there you go, guys. I'll see you at Extreme Rules. Goodbye.